the next process is for you to do the API binding. Okay, so this is where you need to have the Binance account. So at this time, your Binance account and your Royal Queue must be open at the same time. All right, so once the account is open, all right, so what you need to do, go to your Royal Queue, you click home. All right, click home, and then you choose API binding. All right, click API binding, and thereafter, And thereafter, okay, you will see, uh, you will see this banner, okay, Binance and Huobi, right? So what you need to do is to actually select, okay, Binance, okay. So you will see, all right, if it is unbound or bound. If it is unbound, means you have not bound it, so you have not actually done the binding. Like my case here, I have already bind my Binance account, all right. So this is my Binance account. So you have to basically click the Binance account in order for you to bind, okay. Now how to bind? So now, once you open the Binance account, okay, once you open the Binance account, you will be able to see the API key and the secret key. And then in your Binance, okay, you will, sorry, in your Royal Queue, you will see API key. So what you need to do, you need to copy the API key from your Binance and paste it in your Royal Queue, All right? That's the first thing. So copy from Binance and paste it in your Royal Queue. And next, you need to copy the secret key from Binance and paste it in your Royal Queue. That's all. That's a simple process, right? Simple process that you need to do. Next, next, okay? Which is a new requirement that has been updated by the company today. So please, all right, if you're already in Royal Queue, please take note of this information. Now, once you have already uh, copied the API key and the secret key, the next is to basically click the edit restriction. Once you click the edit restriction, you need to enable spot and margin trading. All right. Now, previously it was actually defaulted. Now they have actually opened it up again. So you have to manually choose enable spot and margin trading. Can you see that? Now, now the other thing I want to really quickly tell the team, all right. Now, you might be thinking, right, how safe is your fund? Okay, how safe is your fund? Okay, and, and, and I'm telling you that your fund is secure, that even the robot cannot actually withdraw any of your fund. Yes, because you can see that withdrawal is actually disabled. Okay, so no one, okay, no one can access your Binance account, even the robot. Although you have given the robot the API authorization, but that API authorization restricts the withdrawal. So the robot cannot withdraw your amount in your Binance wallet. So this is why our account, okay, our fund in Binance wallet, it is safe. So you don't have to worry. So that's why even if you have $100,000 trading, you don't need to worry, right? All will be taken care of because we have our fund in Binance and the robot have no access to it, okay? This is so important because under the API restriction, we restrict the robot actually from uh, touching our fund. Okay, great. Now, the next process, okay, the next. Once you have done that, then you have already got the API key pasted and the secret key already paste. Next is to get the verification code. So what you need to do, you need to click the send button. You will receive a code in your email. So make sure you key in that code over here, okay? Key in the code. And next, you need to click the risk notice. And thereafter, you have to tap the bind and now your account will be binded officially and now you are ready to trade okay now before i open this session for questioning let me quickly get to binance and show you where to get the api key so if you get to binance all right i'm going to go i'm using browser okay if you are using your apps then you're going to probably see a different things there okay so just understand that if you are using the apps okay please make sure you convert binance Lite to binance pro all right just click the button and convert it. And in your dashboard, you will be able to see API management. All right, but for the browser, if you're using a laptop or computer, it's easier. What you need to do, you will see your profile. Okay, you will see the profile there. And under the profile, you will see there is an API management. Click the API management. So once you click the API management, now you will be able to see here, 
you can create API. So you can put in any name. Let's say you put Royal Q. Okay, Royal Q. And let's say this is my first account and I'm going to put Royal Q1. All right, that's my first account. So what you need to do is to click create API. Now you will see three layers of security. All right, so Binance is very secure. Okay, there's a three layers of security here. There is a phone verification. There is an email verification and there is a Google authenticator. So you need this three verification and then only you can actually create your uh, API list. All right. So in this, I already have an example here. So you can see. So once you create, once you create it, you will then be able to see your API key and also your secret key. So what you need to do, you need to copy the API key and copy the secret key into your Royal queue. That's all. All right. And then after, please, uh, please remember, okay, as mentioned earlier, you need to basically click the edit the restriction. Can you see that? Click edit restriction and make sure you enable. Okay. Can you see that? You enable spot and margin trading. All right. Now for the withdrawal, you see, I can't do anything here because by default, okay, you are not allowed to touch or to change anything here. They don't allow. So your fund is 100% protected. So you don't have to worry. So once you have enabled the spot and margin, make sure you click save. All right, make sure you click save. So your, your uh, setting is already uh, basically secure over there. That's all. So once you have done that, make sure you get back to your royal queue. All right, get back to your royal queue. And then make sure you proceed with the verification code. Click the risk notice and then do the binding. So these are the four steps, okay, for the robot, for the application, for the robot application. These are four steps. So what are the first step? Sign up. Second step is to deposit. Third step is to activate. And fourth step is to do the binding, all right? So take it easy, all right? Take it easy. Watch the video once again. Take it easy. Don't feel, okay, wow, there's too many processes here. This is only one time. Once you have done that, then we can proceed to the next step, which is how to start to trade.